With Tesla's battery investor day approaching, it's no secret that Tesla has at least a million mile battery by now. This battery is already available for production and Tesla is currently working on ramping it up. However, we don't have much information on this new battery and this is primarily because of the Osborne effect. In this video, I'm going to discuss why I believe Tesla's new battery is in the Osborne effect. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more content like this and let's get right into it. In the year of 1981, Adam Osborne was the leader of a powerful force in the computer industry and that company was named the Osborne Computer Corporation. However, just two years after releasing one of the world's first portable computers, the Osborne Computer Corporation filed for bankruptcy. So, how did this happen? On April 3, 1981, the Osborne One was officially available for $1,795. This was easily deemed an industry disruptor as other computers sold for twice the amount and those computers were not even portable. The Osborne One also came with a business software suite valued at $1,500 for no extra cost. After release, tens of thousands of the Osborne Ones were sold. However, the Osborne Computer Corporation had a problem, which was Adam Osborne himself. Just one and a half years after the Osborne One was released, he promised that he would release two new computers that would be far superior to the Osborne One. These promises led the public to hold off on purchasing the Osborne One. And before the Osborne Computer Corporation was able to release its more superior products, the company was already bankrupt. This sudden turn of events is known as the Osborne Effect. Now, Tesla's battery may be creating a less exaggerated Osborne effect within the Tesla community. Some people know that Tesla's new battery is far superior to the current batteries and are waiting to purchase a Tesla with a new battery. This effect, along with the pandemic, are lowering Tesla's sales in the short term, ultimately leading Tesla to cut prices on its vehicles. Nonetheless, Tesla's new batteries are now ready for production and the company is ramping up the production fast. A few months ago, Tesla built a pilot production line in Fremont for the new battery. Now, a couple days ago, Tesla announced that it would be scaling that production line by extending its Fremont factory by almost 30,000 square feet. This proves that Tesla's pilot production line in Fremont was successful at manufacturing Tesla's new battery. And as a result, the company is scaling to a larger output. In this status update, Tesla stated that under the proposed project, Operational electrical consumption is projected to increase to nearly 92,800 megawatt hours per year, or an increase of approximately 72,800 megawatt hours per year. This means that Tesla's recent expansion in its Fremont factory is manufacturing batteries right now that will be used in Tesla's new vehicles. The production lines weren't just built for the research and development of Tesla's new battery. As Tesla stated that this equipment is assumed to operate 24 hours per day for 365 days per year. While Tesla has this new groundbreaking battery, Elon Musk is attempting to keep the information hidden before Tesla's battery investor day. The battery day was initially scheduled for April, but we saw that date be delayed all the way to September. Elon Musk knows that Tesla's new battery isn't available for full-scale production and doesn't want to ruin Tesla's current sales which is the same situation that the Osborne Computer Corporation had. Because Tesla looks to manufacture its new battery for all of its US-made vehicles, Panasonic's adjustments in Gigafactory Nevada must be adjusted so that Panasonic produces the new battery. This was subtly hinted when Tesla signed a new 3-year deal on June 10th, 2020. Tesla stated that the new deal relates to specific terms between the parties with respect to pricing, planned investments, and new technology, as well as production capacity commitments by Panasonic and purchase volume commitments by Tesla over the first two years of the agreement. The description may be confusing at first, but if we look closely, we can see how Tesla is hinting at how Panasonic will manufacture Tesla's new battery. In order to produce Tesla's new battery, Panasonic must first purchase the materials needed to build a new battery production line. 
which is the quote-unquote planned investments. Then, Panasonic must adjust the pricing of the new battery, which is the adjustments for the quote-unquote pricing. Finally, Panasonic must adapt its workers to the new technology, which refers to the quote-unquote new technology. To sum this all up, not only is Tesla attempting to ramp up its battery production lines, but Panasonic is also doing the same. A few days ago, Tesla also released its application to build a Terra factory in Texas. This Terra factory will be the largest battery plant in the world, and Tesla's recent reports are showing that it will manufacture Tesla's new battery. Tesla has called the project for its Fremont factory the Terra Battery Manufacturing Facility. However, we know that the Fremont factory's battery operations won't be producing terawatt hours worth of batteries. Rather, as we discussed earlier, Tesla's Fremont factory is projected to have its battery capacity increase to nearly 92,800 megawatt hours per year, which is not even close to a terawatt hour. As a result, the Terra Battery Manufacturing Facility must be referring to Tesla's upcoming Texas Terra factory. Overall, Tesla is in an Osborne effect with its new battery. Once these production lines are all set, then Tesla will be able to announce the specs of its new battery. But until then, we'll have to hope the Osborne effect doesn't catch on. Let me know what you think about Tesla's Osborne effect in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.